Hi, y'all. Welcome to Fast Talk to Fascism. I'm Krista. And I'm Heather. And today's episode is called Global Dimming. We're going to start off tonight's episode by asking everyone that's watching to please go on to Google and look for a PBS documentary called Global Dimming mm -hmm. so that you can have some of the information that we started this study off of. First of all, the PBS documentary is based upon a study that they've been doing for 30 years, and it's where they take water buckets and they measure the evaporation. The evaporation rates. Yeah, like depending on like how much sunlight there was versus how strong the sunlight was. And their main question for people studying global dimming is how much uh, sunlight affects the absorption of water, or yeah. the evaporation of water, excuse yeah, me. Yeah. So... Krista, would you like to talk about how cloud forms? Um, sure, Heather, I'll do that. <laughs> okay, so water is evaporated, right? Turns into a gas and it goes up into the air. And it clings on the little things like dirt and pollen and crap in the air. And um, eventually these water droplets build up and make clouds. And then when it gets hot enough, it'll rain and make it water again. Okay, so here's the thing. When uh, pollution is substituted in lieu of dirt, um, like it's got smaller nooks and crannies and crevices, so it makes higher reflectivity, more water droplets, which makes the clouds more reflective, which in turn bounces off more UV rays. And uh, yeah, it makes us less hot on the Earth. Yep. Yeah, so if we didn't have the chemtrails right now, I guess we'd all be boiling in our skin, but that doesn't matter because the Earth is dying anyways. It's a moot point. I don't really know if I believe that the Earth is dying. I think that that's a really... I think that if we continue on the path that we're I think going if we blew some nukes needed, up, it might yeah. take a few billion years yeah. for us to have life on Earth again, but to say that the Earth is dying is to kind of glorify the human race and think that after we're dead... Yeah, that is quite arrogant. Yeah, I yeah. mean, because... Man, comets have hit the Earth, huge eruptions the size of, you know, Yellowstone, and that's not the Earth dying, that's the Earth rejuvenating herself, so yeah. don't, don't start thinking just because we're talking about global dimming, guys, that we're a bunch of, you know, like, save the planet, because we're not so arrogant to think that, you know... The planet can't save herself. Right. <laughs> and we're the ones that need to be saved. Yeah. George Carlin. George Carlin's great. I love him. So, um, we started wondering about what was in chemtrails, and um, we tried to do research, but research is very hard to access because you have to be, like, a member of the, of the you know, website you're trying to get the information from, or and you have pay to pay $35 them $35. Article. So there's a fee for it, and uh, my research psychology experiment broke. Yeah, has <laughs> definitely thrown up some roadblocks for me. Like, they'll give you access codes in your textbooks, but then it'll be a select few articles you have access to still. Mm -hmm. And that's against um, science being open to the public for the better of science, so that people... Yeah. Like, and for the betterment of the public as well. Right, I mean, so people can educate themselves. Yeah. So how hard is that? It can't be that hard, Apparently right? Apparently it is. Um, <laughs> so anyways, we were looking into the research that we did find about geoengineering and the study on climatology to see, well, they what they compared it to was like a volcanic eruption. Yeah. And the sulfur, and the sulfur inside of the It's sulfur dioxide. I'm not it's sure. Like, it's, I don't know. it's like sulfur carbonate or something. Yeah. That, it's, it's some kind of compound word that we can't remember because we were both born blonde. Huh. Actually, we were both uh, born to the American education system. And thank you, Grandma, for paying for my school. Thank you, Granny. Uh -huh. well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and it's a plan to um, it's a plan to control. You know, like they they were talking about aerosols and um, using aerosols and different things in the clouds and how effective they were mm -hmm. at at attaining the objective yeah. of increasing uh, reflectivity. Or decreasing it and yeah. seeing it. I mean, because if you're going to increase it, then if it's if it's really true, then the opposite should work for it as well, making it reliable and yeah. valid and all that. All these fun things you learn. Um, so my our big question is, um, what's the cost? I mean, we've heard speculation that there's pulverized aluminum in these chemtrails, and aluminum is very, very friendly to people. It causes Alzheimer's, yeah. they think, even though Alzheimer's is diagnosed po post-mortem, which means... To truly diagnose Alzheimer's, they have to cut your brain open and see that it's Alzheimer's. And uh, you keep putting a T in it, it's Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. 
Yeah, it's hard to say, though. I understand. It's cool. <laughs> I have some timers. <laughs> some timers? Some timers. I have old timers. <laughs> <laughs> I have good timers. <laughs> so, um, we are kind of adding a little bit of humor into this because we've done this episode a few times now. Yeah, like, third this is time. our third time reshooting. That's why we're laying down episode. to do this. Um, like, screw it now. <laughs> so, our last two points are um, that September 11th wasn't just a psychological attack on America. It was also the large, largest climate experiment in the history of climatology. And what happened when they grounded all the planes was that um, worldwide, through these little pans that were measuring evaporation, evaporation and UV rays, um, they found that, um, well, water evaporated more and there were more UV rays coming through. But the ones that studied temperature found that there was a increase of one degree Celsius and three degrees Fahrenheit, if you guys don't know Celsius. Um, um, because and, of the planes taken out of the sky, which would be... And yeah, and that doesn't sound very substantial, right? Three degrees Fahrenheit. However, the thing that um, that is really substantial about it was the index between um, the high temperature and the low temperature. It was a wide you know, margin, more than they've ever seen before. So that just proves it right there. God, I love flavored tobacco. That smells so good. It smells like strawberries. No, it's lavender. <laughs> The reason I started questioning this was when I went to school in Las Cruces, I was 20 years old, and um, I'd never really seen this much chemical in the air thing, and um, I'd never really seen that, that many chemtrails in the air, and um, I had started having a lot more allergy problems, a lot more migraine problems, a lot more pain at the base of my neck, like the top of it, um, not unable to move my head kind of crap, um, eye irritation, which was associated with the migraines. And I also started wondering, you know, after seeing the global dimming, dimming documentary, um, mm -hmm. if the government was actually influencing the weather and if that's what they were up to. Well, this year, um, I don't know if this was Pentagon or who it was that disclosed it, but they actually dis dis what, disclosed? Right? Declassified. Yeah. What the, the hell am I making up words for? Declassified. Um, disclosed is a real word. But, but declassified de is the word we're looking for. Declosed is not a real word. Declosed. <laughs> Declassifying this information that, that already, that's actually what yeah, they're doing. Th that's, that's actually what exactly doing. what they're doing. And um, if I could notice and it Heather at twenty was years old, right the fuck on. Yeah, and that means how many other people that are older than me must have known what was going yeah. on. So I'm not gonna sit here and think, oh, I thought of that first because I know I'm not. But it's really reassuring to know that other people have thought have of this thought and to see it, that yeah. it's even come out and that I was right. It's it just makes me feel like, you know, maybe tuning in is a is a totally all right thing to do without a television. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, and then not only that, like here in Lubbock, I've never seen it like it was this last year. It's just all over the place. Oh, dude, they made tic tac toe powder. They did the literally, like, like tic tac toe powder. Surprised they didn't try to go for the dollar bill sign, like. No, it didn't. Cool. And they just expand and they go all across the sky. Oh and they yeah, descend they go everywhere. onto the and unsuspecting crop that's down below, which and is they don't, us. Like, they don't look right. Everybody should be really concerned about what the government sprays on you. Okay? I don't <laughs> care what their fucking motives are, but they're literally spraying you, like like crop dusting, and we are the and crops. We're the crops. We're the crops, guys. So we're asking you, please wake up, please look at it, and point them out to your friends, be like, hey man, you ever seen these chemtrails that expand and stay in the sky for hours and don't just go Which are different and, than contrails. Yeah. I want to stress that. That's way different than contrails, because contrails disappear. Disappear, and they're like this long behind yeah, the they're plane. Like, they're like, they're, they're not like threads behind the plane. <laughs> they're not like big puffy things expand out and stay in the air. No, that's that's crazy. No, that's just crazy talk. So in closing, we would like to talk about HR 2977, which was introduced by Dennis Kucinich and it wasn't passed. It wasn't even considered. It was, it just, was just introduced. introduced. Yeah. This was in 2001. And when you read what it goes in, I mean, first we started reading it and we were like, man, this sounds like a bunch of hokey crap, you know, like hippie crap or something. Yeah. And then you get into it and you start hearing the specifics of what this man was asking them to make illegal yeah. for people to do. And some of the things he, he did refer directly to HARP, which if you guys don't know what that is, that's... H-A-A-R-P. It's not like the Association of American Retired People. It's, um... <laughs> <laughs> H it actually H spells for, um, what is it? Something or High Aurora, Active Aurora, Aurora Research, Aurora Research Program. Program. Yeah, and you guys, we're going to do an episode kind of about that, but it's so big you're really going to have to research it yourself. And it's a direct attack from Kucinich on weapons like harp and weapons like chemtrails on people for any purpose 
doesn't matter if it's defense and they specifically didn't. naming uh, yeah. chemtrails as a and also specifically no, naming it said ELF an, as an exotic and weapon. So is ELF? ELF? Yeah, and and ELF, um, extremely low frequency waves, ELF waves and VLF waves, which are very low frequency waves. Electromagnetic waves. Um, Which is exactly what Hart puts out. And and, uh, I just thought it was fascinating that Dennis Kucinich knew this in 2001, because I'm just barely learning. So we are are plotting. Because I'm only 22. We are plotting. Yes, Mr. Kucinich. Sorry, we were only 16 and 15. You are man of the day. We're only 16 and 15 when you did that, but definitely thank you very much for actually giving a flying fuck and standing up for what's right so yeah we love you america and signing off for this evening this is heather and krista we love you